Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys the ultimate Ajax fastest route. Now, in order to get this character, you will need to get four different parts together, and it will take a little bit of farming, definitely, and a little bit of luck as well. Some of these parts have as low as a 3% drop rate, but if you follow these routes, it'll boost it up to about a 6% rate. And I'll show you the fastest ways to do this. So for the first part, you want to go and run this mission here. It will tell you to go over to the fortress, and you will need Sharon in order to do this. This is going to be the fastest way to do it, but if you don't have Sharon, you will need to go and run one of the special operation missions and then take it into the boss fight. Now, I find when you run the boss fight method, it takes a lot longer than this. Now, they've also just come out with an update about two days ago where these missions, they're only going to take one minute to reset, whereas they normally would have taken five minutes. So this method has become a lot faster. Now you may have to run these missions a few times in order to get the proper amorphous material and I'll explain how that works here once we start the mission. So you will need Sharon in order to do this because you have to complete the mission on stealth. That is one of the parts that can be a little confusing when people go to farm these. They run the mission again and again and again and realize they don't actually get the reward. And that is because you have to complete it on stealth. So you're going to run Sharon. If you need help with the Sharon build in order to make sure you go invis long enough, I have made a guide for Sharon and you don't have to use any crystallization catalyst for this build you just get it done as soon as you're at level 40 so it doesn't take very long once you hack all these terminals or go into these terminals the boss will spawn in you want to take them out now so the mission only takes like 30 seconds and then now it only takes a minute to reset now if you go down it's fine it doesn't it's not a big deal you just take out the boss now from there you want to keep an eye on your drops now the amorphous material will not drop every single time. You want to be on the lookout for number 121. Now so every single time you do the mission, you're going to get 120. But you'll notice the 121, if you scroll down to the loot pool, you scroll down, it's only a 25% drop chance max. And so you may have to continuously run this mission three, four times until you get the amorphous material 121. Now once you get 121, you will come over here to the fallen arc and I'll show you what you need to do with it. Now this is why this process can take a little bit longer. You need Sharon for it. And then on top of that, you also have to go and do these void fragments. So if you don't already have the void shards to start these up, you may wanna just go and do the boss fight. Because if you don't have the void fragments or the void shards, you're gonna actually have to go and farm those as well, just to be able to activate this. And then even when you activate it, it's actually not guaranteed. Even after all that, it's still only a 10% drop chance. So you may have to do this whole process quite a few times. So as you can see here, when you start it up, you will need 121 in order to get it. Keep in mind these void reactors, they have two different key options. So make sure you have the right one when you go to activate the, the boss. Otherwise, you're going to waste those shards. So that's how you will get the first piece. Now, that's the longest piece. Once you have that, the rest of them should be pretty quick. So we went over that one. Now, after that, this is going to be the second piece you have to get. It's the same process. You can take it into the Frostwalker boss if that's something you want to do. But the void reactors, they're going to be a lot faster. Now you can take it into the Frostwalker boss, but you will have to first get Amorphous Material 116. So you'll have to run that mission over on White Knight Gulch. So if you don't have Sharon, follow that route. Now if you have Sharon, you're going to want to go back over here, follow the same process where you go in here, you hack these terminals. But oh, this time we're going to do it on the sterile land. You're going to get that code from the sterile land. Number This time it'll be number 63, as you can see down there at the bottom of the loot pool. So you're going to have a 25% chance of getting number 63. You may have to run that three, four times and then take that into the void reactor. So again, if you don't have the void shards, just go instead, do the boss route. Now for the final mission, this one, you have to do the swamp walker. This one's actually a lot easier just to go and do the operations mission. So you want to go in here, do the asylum mission. Every time you run the asylum, you can get two amorphous material. As soon as you finish up the asylum, you take that into the swamp walker and that's where you're going to end up getting that piece there. Now the very last one, it's going to be the Ajax code. Unfortunately, this one's going to come out of Dead Bride or Devour. Again, you can do a Void Reactor, but after already burning through a lot of your materials, you're probably going to be running out. So instead, you're going to want to go and run this mission here, the Forgottenness number six, and take that into the Dead Bride boss. Now, hopefully this helps you guys out and explains the fastest method. Now, it's still a very long process, but if you follow this route, you can actually get it done in about a day. Keep in mind, though, you will need Void Shards. I have made a guide on how you can get like a thousand void shards really, really quick. So once you farm that or do that farm one time, you really won't have to worry about farming void shards ever again. But keep in mind that does require Sharon. 
So if you don't have Sharon, just simply follow the boss route instead. Do all those bosses, do the missions, and then the bosses. And instead of the 10% drop chance, you're gonna have a 6% drop chance on the bosses. The only downside to running the bosses is that you're gonna be matched up with random teammates and that it can sometimes take a lot longer than just simply doing the void fusion reactor where it's just you one-on-one -on -one with the boss. Now, if you already have these all these descendants unlocked where you can solo most of these bosses, get them done you know, in 30 seconds, get them done in 45 seconds like a lot of people can, then go ahead and follow that boss route instead where you farm out these patterns. But if you have Sharon unlocked and you don't mind going into some public made match made boss fights, then simply go and do the void fusion reactors. That's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully it helps you out and I will catch you in the next one.